Hey there folks, Santee at the Arizona Ghost Riders here. Don't forget about our Patreon page. We have exclusive interviews with Dirty Dan this week doing his wardrobe on set, so it's kind of fun. The INSP Network has a new series coming out called Into the Wild Frontier. You know what? Let's review it. I was recently contacted by the INSP Network to review their new docudrama, Into the Wild Frontier. It appears they were pleased with my last review on the Wild West Chronicles, so yeah. Isn't that a daisy? This series, which airs on Thursday, February 17th, follows the frontiersmen and explorers who ventured to the West. Men like Jim Bridger, James Beckworth, Kit Carson, Lewis and Clark, and others who helped blaze the trails for our intrepid pioneers. Today, we open the bounties of our glorious land to the common man. So look to the west, for therein lies your future. The episode screener INSP provided was for the second episode, Jim Bridger Forged on the Frontier. This should give us a fairly good idea of what to expect from this series. Jim Felix Bridger was born on March 17, 1804 in Richmond, Virginia. His father, a land surveyor, moved the family not far from St. Louis, Missouri, where Jim would join a fur trapping expedition in 1822. Bridger wound up on many expeditions up and down the Missouri River and may have been present when Hugh Glass was attacked by a bear. The series claims he was not only there, but made a conscious decision to leave the severely wounded glass. Documentation tells us Hugh was so badly wounded that the party left two men behind to wait out his death. When the Arikara tribe started closing in, those two men got out of there. However, history is a little foggy on this. No account mentioned the names of the caregivers until an 1839 article in the Louisville Literary Newsletter. In it, the two men were named as Fitzgerald and Bridges, which is close to Bridger. A biography from a Captain Labarge, 73 years after the event, says it was Jim Bridger. However, both accounts have other inaccuracies, which tend to put a damper on historical evidence. An alleged interview with Jim Bridger later on leaves us with only one sentence. Bridger told me the story of Glass, but there was no desertion. Hmm. The docudrama points out that the incident changed Jim Bridger's life. He learned from it and became a better man. Hugh Glass, on the other hand, barely survived. <laughs> Get it? Barely? <laughs> this is stupid. The costuming in this episode was very good. Not only did they show trappers and animal hides, they also showed the common coats made out of trade blankets. I was impressed with the hats and pleased they did research on the costuming and firearms. Not knowing much about the Arikara tribe, I did some research and found they did not use teepees in their villages, but rather earth lodges. The tribe, incidentally, had two fortified villages which controlled travel at that bend of the Yellowstone River. In 1843, Jim established Fort Bridger in Wyoming Territory. It was essentially a resupply stop for immigrants traveling west on the Oregon Trail, but also was a trading post for trappers to exchange goods. He was revered for his knowledge of the land and was hired as a guide in many expeditions. Jim Bridger died in 1881 at the age of 77 in Missouri, the very state he started his exciting career in. And I'm gonna live, live, live until I die. Although I wish they had talked more about Bridger's accomplishments, I still found the show very good. The man has about 30 locations named after him, including a peak, a mountain range, and a trail. One day we'll do a whole episode on the famous mountain man and give you some more details. In the meantime, 
I think Into the Wild Frontier has great promise as a series, and I encourage you to watch it and learn a little about the great frontiersmen of the West. You can't make this sort of thing up. The men of wanted adventure. Lead the way, Captain. Absolute courage. You never give up. They may kill you, but you don't give up. Into the Wild Frontier, a new original series. Premieres Thursday, February 17th at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 Pacific on INSP. Well, folks, that's it for another episode. Thanks for watching. And as always, please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you on down the trail.